Now next we'll see about uh, next basic element that is a pipe modifiers. Now what are type modifiers? Type modifiers are the one which will modify the structure of the data type. So what do you mean by that? Now if you take an integer, integer actually occupies two bytes. So I want that integer to occupy four bytes because I would like to store a bigger value because in a normal integer it is going to the maximum value you can store is 32,767. But if I want to store 1 lakh or 10 lakh or 20 lakhs, actually I have to increase the memory to store the bigger values. So instead of 2 bytes, I want the integer to occupy 4 bytes. So when integer, normal integer, what happens is the last bit is an is been used as an sign bit. So assume that you don't have any negative numbers at all. Then why to waste the sign? But I would like to use that even sign bit as a data bit. That means all 16 bits should be treated as a data bits. So that is if you want to modify the structure of the data type that can be done through this type modifiers. There are totally four type modifiers available in C language. So first one is unsigned, second one is an unsigned, then short and long. These are the four type modifiers. Now whenever you give here just as an integer of x, by default, it takes it as signed and short. So if you don't mention whether it is in signed or unsigned, always the default one will be taken as a signed. Same way, if you don't mention here whether it is in short or long, the default will be taken as a short. That means whenever I give here, whenever I give here int of x, okay, whenever I give it as, as an int of x, this will be taken as an signed short int of x. It means when it is unsigned, the last bit will be used as an sign bit, okay, and short, we are asking it to occupy two bits. But the same thing if you apply this unsigned, then there won't be any signed bit. All the data bits will be used as a, all, all the bits will be used as a data bits. So here when I give you an int of x, this will be taken as a signed short int x. That means number of bytes allocated is going to be in two bytes. Number of bytes will be allocated as two bytes. In this, that means two bytes means 16 bits. In the 16 bits, 15 will be used as data bits and last will be used as an sign bit. And the range of value you can store here in this signed short int x is going to be minus 32,768 to plus 32,767. That is the range of value you can store in an signed short int x. So assume that I do not have any negative numbers, I want all 16 to be used as a data bits that can be achieved by applying here as an unsigned. You can just give it as an unsigned int of x. Here you have, in this case you have mentioned as an unsigned. So when you have mentioned as an unsigned, then it takes as an, instead of taking sign, automatically takes as an unsigned. And you didn't mention whether it is in short or long, so by default it will take it as in short. That means the overall it takes it as unsigned, unsigned, short int of x. So in this case, in this case here again, two bytes has been allocated. Of these two bytes, of these two bytes, all 16 bits will be used as data bits. You won't be having any sign bit that is zero sign bits. There won't be any sign bits. When there is no sign bit, the values cannot be negative. The value will be only positive. It starts from zero. This goes up to 2 raised to 16 minus 1. That is 2 raised to 16 minus 1. That comes down to 65,535. That's the maximum value which you can store in an unsigned short int. Sometimes you would like to store a bigger value. 
So if you want to store a bigger value that cannot be done through an shot, bigger value in the sense more than 65,535. In such a cases, instead of two bytes, you have to make the integer occupy four bytes. That you can do it by applying long. So it can be done like this. You can just specify it as an long int of x. So when you give a long int of x, <clears throat> you didn't mention whether it is unsigned or unsigned. So by default, it takes as an signed long int of x. It takes as an signed long int of x.